So today we'll speak about a new Hizen Katna wireless media interface that's called WMI1. The device is really cool, you can use it without any additional hardware. All you need is just the Grandmaster and an iPad or an iPad mini. That's really cool for a gig or studio or rehearsal situation, you don't need any additional rotors. You can use it with your Grandmaster foot switch, you can also connect your additional MIDI controlled gear, you can control your Grandmaster from Pro Tools or any other audio MIDI sequencer. Everything is connected in one system. Now the connections. So the device has two MIDI ins and one MIDI out. You connect uh, the MIDI into the Grandmaster's MIDI out and MIDI out to the Grandmaster's MIDI in. And the second MIDI in is used to connect the foot switch. So now let's set up our network and program and organize some presets. There are several ways to use your WMI1. You can use it in standalone mode. Actually, it is activated now. You can see the LED in front of the two letters AP is on. So it is now in standalone mode. The WMI1 has created its own Wi-Fi network. So basically what you need to do is connect your iPad. To select the standalone mode, press the set button for three seconds and it will be activated. To change it to the client mode, to use it with your home rotor inside the home network, press the set button for seven seconds. But for this demo we'll be using it in standalone mode. To use the WMI1 with Grandmaster you will need to download these two apps from the App Store. WMI Connect, the second one is Grandmaster 36 Remote. Once you have them installed, go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you have WMI network activated. You may need to use the password, which you can find in WMI manual, and you can also set your own password. So, WMI Connect, you can see which mode is activated right now. Here it is, standalone AP mode. You can actually change your password here in the network settings through the app. We're not going to do it now for security reasons. So as you can see, here we have two modes. Client mode, it can be home network client and standalone AP. So we are using the standalone mode when we do not need any additional gear for this one. I prefer to have it as a default to make sure I don't have to make any additional settings when I come to a rehearsal or to a gig. So all good now. We are in the standalone mode. So let's launch the Grandmaster 36 remote. And you can see I'm also using the foot switch. And what's cool about this setup, you can use both your foot switch and your iPad. Let's have a look at the app. If you hit the info button, you can see what all of these knobs are doing. You can see that all the amp settings are right here in front of you on the screen. You can program and save all your presets with a few clicks. You see them all in one place and you can store them on your iPad and bring it to the gig. If you don't carry your amp with you, you can transfer them to the amp you're going to play with or you can edit your settings wirelessly from stage or in the studio if you're in the control room, for example. Personally, it was the best thing being able to program all the presets and copy paste and save them and have them in the iPad wherever I go and being able to restore them and have a consistent sound wherever I play. What else I like to do is if I use different sounds for different songs or for different guitars, I program several banks, I find the right balance for the clean sound and overdriven sound and boosted solo sound, save it for use with the cabinet and I copy the preset for use without a cabinet or with red box out. It helps because at some gigs you have a cabinet and at smaller clubs you don't have a cabinet or in this you also use a red box. This is a great idea actually and you can do it with a touch of a button and you don't have to guess if you are saving the right preset or where you are in the settings so this app helps a lot. First of all I would recommend to back up all your amp presets. So that's what we do, backup selection memory. Yeah, here we go. So I will name it for example. You can change the name to whatever you like. And just make it as quick as possible right now. You can send it by email or airdrop. You can activate any of this. You can actually edit your backups here. You can rename, create a copy. The same, just name it any way you like. And one more thing, you can edit either presets in the memory or you can edit them directly in the amp. I would suggest editing app memory first and then just transfer them. I programmed a bank of presets for live use. For example, I have Horse Clean, 
low gain leads and one low gain with boost and ultra high gain solo lead so i like the sounds i like the balance so what i do i create two banks of the same sounds but one for the use with the cabinet and the second one for the use without a cabinet so there is a really fast and easy way to copy all of them with this app it's probably the most intuitive and the fastest way to do it you cannot make a mistake or if you make it it's easy to figure your way out of it and it's really like just to click operation so let's do it now we make the necessary changes so i want the silent mode on and i want effects loop so basically i just need to hit the store button and select uh, the bank and the button where i want to save it hit c here it is and we rename it so you can name it wherever you want but just to see is different from the live you name it like the no cab or whatever we're now working with the app memory when you hit the button on the foot switch it will take you to the amplifier memory so i don't want that for now i will show you how to do it later but for now i want to program the app memory first so what we do we need to copy so we need silent mode and we need effects loop on and store it into another bank so I have bank 5 for the silent mode and just select the right button rename it here's the keyboard <laughs> call it studio okay we're done you can use the show values button if you make any changes here you can hit compare and it will show you the difference i will not save it because i like the balance i had once you're done with programming the presets i have these four presets for life and uh, i have uh, well you can select it from here actually and i have these four presets for studio we have programmed a bank to be used with the cabinet and we have programmed a bank to be used in the silent mode with the red box out. Now what we need to do is to transfer the app memory to the amp. This is just one button operation. So let's transfer all the presets we have programmed to the amp. Here we go. This is it. So now let's just check with the foot switch. So we have four presets here in, in the bank one and we check in the bank five. Right? Here we go. We are done. Now about the use of the foot switch. Uh, hitting any button on the foot switch will immediately take you to edit the amplifier memory directly. Make sure to back up your settings to the application once you are done. Okay, I'll call it... For example. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them.